Okay, it is uh, July 21st, 2018. How old are you, Enzo? Six now. You're six now, and you had a you had a question. What's your question? Um, where do babies come from, and how do they get in pe in people's tummies? That's a very good question, and Mommy's been thinking really hard about how to tell you about this because it's complicated. Mm -hmm. And I was waiting for you to ask because I wanted to know when you were ready. And I don't know if you're fully ready to understand it. So I'm just going to tell you. Um, half of it? Not half of it. But um, it might it might confuse you a little bit. Or it might, but you can always look at me. Look at me. It might confuse you a little bit. Um, or you might have more questions and that's okay. Because you can ask as many questions as you want, all right? Okay. And I'll do my best to answer them, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Okay. You ready? Ready. Okay. So when a mommy and a daddy... Yeah. Get married. Well, they don't even have to be married, really. But if a mommy and a daddy are a man and a woman, really, really love each other, right? They really, really love each other. Um, they, here's the thing. Okay, this is where it kind of gets a little complicated. Okay. Okay? You know how you have a pee-pee? Yeah. You know how <laughs> mommy has a different, or not mommy, but Zana has a different kind of pee-pee? Like, boys have a pee-pee and girls have a different kind of pee-pee? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, the boys have this stuff inside their pee-pee. Mm. It's kind of like a seed. Okay, and and girls. So what happens is, and um, and you know the so the the boys, well, the, not the boys, the, the the men, like the daddies. Um, they they need they need to. Okay, the how do I say this? Oh, I'm so. This is really hard to explain to you. So the the man has a seed in his pee pee, and the woman has like an egg in her pee pee. Okay. And so what happens is, is the man has to put his pee pee in the lady's pee pee and he, he, he gives her his seed and the seed goes in, into the egg, right? Mm -hmm. And then it makes a baby. And that's when the baby, it's a tiny little seed in a little egg in the, in, like the, in the lady's tummy, right? I know that. Okay, and then it takes nine months for the baby to grow. It's it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Every and bigger. day. Every day the baby gets bigger and bigger in the mommy's tummy. And then after about nine months, baby is fully grown and it's time for them to come out right so you go to the hospital sometimes we get to the hospital in time right yeah. or sometimes you just go to the doctor or, well the doctor or sometimes you don't get there in time and you have it in your car or you have it at home all right you know so what happens is that mommy starts to feel a little pain in her tummy like uh, like, like she, she starts to feel a little bit of pain in her tummy and that's when she knows that the baby's coming and so she goes to the doctor and either the, look at me either the baby comes hey Look at me. No, okay, of course, now we've got the public walking past us because we're out on the boardwalk at the beach, so we really don't want to have have them hear me have this conversation with my six-year-old tummy. Okay, they're gone no. now. They're gone now. Yeah. Okay, so the mommy gets a little bit of a pain in her tummy, right? Like, And she knows, well, it's more than a little pain. Yeah, and then she, she knows that that means the baby's coming, and that's after about nine months, right? Yes. And so she hopefully gets to the doctor in time, and then the baby comes out of her her pee pee or the stomach or like in mommy's case you were in my tummy upside down <laughs> yeah and you know what they call that what breach they call that breach oh. when a baby's upside down that they call it breach it's like they're sinking not but... like they're sinking you're just upside down you're supposed to be when you come out of a mommy's egg pee -pee, out of her pee pee you're supposed to come out with your head first but you we're gonna come out with your feet first. And so the doctors had to fix that. And so the only way they could fix that is through a different way for mommies to have babies. And she, they had to cut me across my tummy and take you out. But normally- Mommy they, didn't have any pain. Yeah, mommy had a lot of pain, but they gave her medicine so she didn't she didn't hurt so much. But yeah. but um, when the babies come out of mommy's peepees, it hurts, it hurts a lot. It's but so, like the guts. It's like it's like imagine this tiny little hole that a mommy has, and they have to push a big baby out of it, right? But but you didn't have that. I didn't have to do that because you were you were upside down. You were breech. Yeah. So my, they had to cut mommy's tummy. You got lucky. I wouldn't call it lucky, but yes, I. You you got lucky because it was gonna be pain on your pee pee. Yeah. Ants. Yeah. So I didn't have pain in that place, but I had a pain in a different place because they had to cut me open and take you out. Okay. Apparently ants are more important right now. Okay. So do you understand? So then they took you out. Look at me. Are you going to want, you want answers to this question? Yeah. Okay, it's very serious. So then they took you out, and then you then you were out, and you took your first breaths, and we named you, and you had your first days on Earth out of Mommy's tummy. So did that answer your question, or are you confused? It answered my question. So you, you get it now? Can you tell me? Can you repeat it back to me? How you think it, you understand it? I forgot. 
the whole thing. <laughs> no, you didn't. Did you really forget the whole thing? It's a good thing that I recorded it then, so when you ask me again later, I can replay it. <laughs> so Mom's and Dad, this is how, on July 21st, 2018, I answered the question of my six-year-old, where when, babies come from. My first best was this new nap. So, yeah, so we don't know if he understood it or if he absorbed it, but I'm sure there will be questions throughout the day. How would you have done it differently? I would have punched the gate open. I'll take any advice. I would punch the gate open from Okay, mom. so do you know, you understand now? Yes. Do you have more questions? Yep. You got it? Yes. Okay, but you know, I forgot one very important part. What? That God is the one who says when the mommy's egg is ready and the daddy's seed is ready right and he's the one who decides if the baby comes or not because he we are all gifts from god i would ask yes i want when i grow up and marry someone i would want a one baby and i would name him xandar you'll have one baby and you'll name him xandar and i will remind you of that when you when you get married and have your one baby that you are to name him xandar Love you, Enzo. I love you so much. And make sure I don't get that paper, Mom. I love you so much, Enzo. And I hope that I answered your question. You answered a, it. Did I? Okay, good. I love you. Forever and ever. No matter what, Mama.